All right, what we have here is another sailboat that I'd like to show you, but, oops, I can't, it's sunk. This looks like the stern. That's still tied up, that one's definitely not going anywhere. This is Placida, a little fishing village, or former fishing village, it's about all bought up and abandoned now. There's another shrimp boat, old fishing boat thing over there. It's been down for a long time, but this used to have charter boats, fishing boats. There is one boat, sailboat there that's still floating. This place is dead. I don't know if red tide led to its demise. I think it was before that. I think it's all been bought up by developers. This was a quaint little place. Then it turned kind of artsy fartsy. And, uh, I'm not sure what's going on with it now. Back to the sailboat again. I can't really see anything about it. How big it was or anything. Be interesting to know how long it's been down. The fishery restaurant is around the bend there. I don't even know if it's still open. If it is, it's barely hanging on. This is the old, uh, what the actual fishery from way back in the day and the fish boats used to come here and then it was charter boats up until recently they used to have their ads their signs there and they're just lined up this even a year or two ago and uh this place is just dead i'm sure it's going to be all condos remains of an old sign fourth generation fisherman you can see they had little shacks set up here, little offices. It's all been pulled out. This place, it's a neat little peninsula and it's on prime real estate, but I think that's probably what led to its demise. This is old Florida. And then some of the shacks, the old fishing shacks, you know, are still around. There's another one, that was a real estate office, Bob Melvin Properties, now it's abandoned. I don't, you know, this place had, resurrected itself and turned into an artsy kind of a fishing village thing was, and they have art festivals down here art shows and whatnot got it seemed like every weekend during the season here's an art gallery here the sign says moved so this place is just everybody's left orchid place now taken over by buzzards All Britain Gallery it looks closed and another one now over there is next door is that's still an operating I guess uh, some sort of a fish processing place or something live bait something I don't know like the last remnant the old road used to be right at that stop sign and the bridge used to cross over behind this place but they replaced it not too far away with a new wider bridge a few years back in the fishery restaurant see it just looks it says it's open but summer hours it's not 11:30 yet october 27 placida art market so maybe they're still having the little pop-up things uh during the winter months so the old main road used to curve right around there and then that's the old where the old bridge used to be it just dead ends there now over coral creek the other side of that fence where those people are walking, there's uh, that's the fishing pier, a trail that goes out to the fishing pier, which is the old railroad trestle. There's a couple cars here at the fishery parking lot, so maybe they're going to open at 11.30. Maybe they're still hanging on. Yeah, it's hard to tell if they're open or not. They need to cut the grass if they are. That's a bougainvillea bush in bloom. So I guess the fishery possibly in this place is all that's left of the fishing village of Placida. So maybe in five years it's all going to be a big condo resort or something. It's a great spot. So it's a little peninsula surrounded by salt water near Boca Grande Pass or not too far out from it. So, oh well. Yeah, the old All Britain Gallery closed new address Sanford, Florida. Hell, they moved a long way away.
There's some fish really working up the water over there. I don't know if you can see it. Something feeding. This boat here, it wasn't this far gone the last time I saw it a few years ago. The deal was somebody, it sunk, and of course the people, whoever owns it, is responsible for salvaging it, pulling it up. Well, that's expensive. So the guy that used to have it, oh, I sold it to this other guy. Well, no, I sold it to him. Well, I never, you know, so nobody claims ownership of it. So the taxpayers are going to have to pull this thing out. But you can see they've been uh, scrapping it. There's a lot of stuff chopped off of it, metal parts and everything. What a mess. That's that sunken sailboat over there. All right. Well, this was the old historic fishing village of Placida, Florida that had been resurrected and now it's just gone again. So, and I should know what's going on because I live, my Florida house is near here, but I'm not down here all the time. So I kind of not up on the news what's going on. I'm sure developers have taken it over. They've bought this whole peninsula. There's a house over there one or two houses back over there on water. So, alrighty then.